I'm going on a journey. The route is one I know well, but this time it's different. Today, my journey is a pilgrimage. Every year, hundreds of millions of people go on pilgrimages. Most religions have their own special places that draw the faithful, sometimes over hundreds or thousands of miles. But I'm not going far, halfway around the world, or a few stops on the bus. It's still a pilgrimage. See, a pilgrimage isn't just the travelling, and though it's usually to a religious site, it's not actually all about the final destination either. A pilgrimage is always spiritual, not necessarily physical. You can go on your own, with friends, complete strangers even. What matters is the things you hold in your head and your heart as you travel. The things you think about, who you think about, the people you travel through life with. So this journey is a chance to reflect silent contemplation as the world happens around me. And by the time I get to Westminster Abbey, although my journey's been short, I've still come a long way on my pilgrimage. I'm a big Edward the Confessor fan. <clears throat> Saint Edward the Confessor. Big fan, love him. And you see, Westminster Abbey is his church. Edward wanted to go to St. Peter's in Rome you know, on a pilgrimage. But kings can't just up and leave whenever they feel like it. This is a safety announcement. Any unattended thrones will be removed or destroyed. <laughs> so instead, Edward built this church and dedicated it to St. Peter. But Edward was pretty holy himself. And after he died, he was buried here. Well, I had to rebuild, didn't I? Place was nearly 200 years old. Built in 1060, and can't you just tell? Practically falling apart. And here you have it, a church fit for a saint. And I put Edward's shrine at the heart. It's my way to honor him. And there he is, the saint himself. In you come, lads. You know, I think it's fitting that so many pilgrims come to pray to St. Edward. Sort of come full circle, don't you think? <laughs>